This is Lenny Farley, Purdue University Extension Forester. Now let's ID that tree. In this edition of ID That Tree, we're going to tackle a non-native tree found here in Indiana that is also invasive, and that is Siberian elm, Ulmus pumilla, sometimes called erroneously Chinese elm. Siberian elm was planted ornamentally as, in some cases, a replacement for American elm because of disease issues, but is really a poor landscape tree and has become invasive through the wind-blown seed that can scatter across the countryside, producing rapid seedling growth. Leaves are alternate, simple. The, leaf, the leaves themselves are actually quite small compared to our native elms, like red and American elm probably half to a third the size of those species or even smaller. Twigs, when they're mature, tend to be gray with darker colored buds and are very fine, as is the case with many of our elm species. The bark on this species produces long running ridges and typically is a medium uh, gray color. However, we'll oftentimes see this light tan staining on the bark from injury points where bacterial flux and other products of decay have seeped out of the tree. Pretty common characteristic for Siberian elm. It is also relatively weak wooded and therefore subject to damage in storms. This tree does spread on the landscape, producing lots of windborne seed that can grow rapidly in exposed soil areas or wherever there's a little bit of sunlight. So not a good tree species to plant, definitely one to control in the landscape, if you want to learn more about invasive species, you can visit the report Invasive Species Purdue University site or any number of other invasive species sites and learn how to identify and control invasive species on the landscape.